Hi, this is Ben Gums with Tri-County Communications with a tutorial video on Manage My TVs. Manage My TVs is an app you can put on your mobile devices to set up recordings or change recordings on your DVR at home. The first thing you'll need to do is download the app to your mobile device. So I've done this in advance to save some time, but I'll show you the process just so you can see what you need to do. So we'll open our App Store or Google Play Store. We'll find the search box and we'll type Manage My TVs, all as one word. And there it is right there. So you'll touch Get, and then you'll touch Install, and then you'll type in your Apple ID or your Google Play password, and that will download it to your device. So that's the process for downloading it. Get back to my main screen, and you can see I've already got it downloaded. Okay, so one practical application of this app is being able to record something when you're not there. So let's say that you know there is a Brewer game on Saturday, May 28th at noon, and you forgot to set your DVR. Not a problem. You can just open the app, search by the day. Right now it's at Tuesday, May 24th. That's today's date, so we'll touch the plus a few times to get to Saturday. Now we're at Saturday, May 28th. The channel the game is on is 637. So I can either swipe through down to 637 or I can use these numbers as a guide and just touch the closest number and it will bring me right there in the guide. So now I'm pretty close to 637. There it is. And we're at noon, uh, so it's right here in my guide. So all I need to do is touch MLB Baseball, Cincinnati Reds, Milwaukee Brewers, and then touch record. Now. In this case, uh, sometimes baseball games do run over, so you have a couple options here. So where it says stop, you can just touch where it says on time and add some time to it. You can even go up to 60 minutes past the end of the, what it thinks will be the end of the game and touch create recording. Another way you can do it too, and that is to just record the next um, shows after it. So let's say I also wanna set up a series recording. Uh, maybe I'm a fan of uh, the cook Bobby Flay, and on the Food Network there's a show called Beat Bobby Flay that I want to record. So I'm going to find it here. I know, I know one episode is going to be on Thursday. There's a block of several of them in a row on Thursday. So I'll hit the minus sign, go back a couple of days, so it says Thursday, May 26th. Now it's on channel 76, so I can either scroll all the way up or use the, the numbers right here, and I'll touch 40, and that moves me to the block closest to the 40s. Now I'll go up to channel 76, there it is. And the shows, the, the block of shows start at 9 p.m. So I'm gonna scroll over. You can see the times up here in the black. Oh, and I accidentally touched it, so that opened a dialog box, so I needed to hit exit. You've gotta kinda of be careful with your fingers sometimes. And there, I can see a block of Beat Bobby Flay episodes starting now. So I'll touch on the first one. I can read a little synopsis of the episode, make sure this is what I wanted to record if I'd like. If I don't want to record this again, I touch exit at the bottom, but I do want to record this, so I'm going to touch record. This time I have the option for a single episode or a series recording. If I only want to record this episode, I just touch create recording and it's done. In this case, I'm going to try doing a series recording, so I'll touch series. And now I have options. I'm gonna just ignore most of those things for right now. I'm just going to do create series rule. And see what it did? It automatically is recording every episode of Beat Bobby Flay. Okay, so here are a couple of tips for finding things in the guide if you don't know the exact date, time, and channel that a show you'd like is on or if you're just browsing. First of all, you can weed out the shows that appear in the guide to just movies, or to just sports. So if I switch this from all to movies, it's only going to show me movies because they're on channels that also play movies. So they just kind of want to show you, you know, fill in the gaps for you. It allows you to quickly see movies that are on. So if you want to just log in and record a couple movies, um, you know, for an upcoming weekend or something, uh, it makes it very easy to do that. You can also switch to just viewing sports. So it'll just show you the sports channels 
and what's on on those channels so you don't have to try and weed through the entire guide of channels to find certain things. Go back to all. Another thing you can do is weed out any channels that you do not subscribe to. For example, Showtime or Cinemax by touching subscribed. So now only the channels that are in your cable package will be listed in this guide. Secondly, you can switch to only HD channels. So only HD channels will be in this. So everything you record will be on an HD channel. Another helpful thing you can do is take a minute or two, go through the guide and next to every channel that you like, touch the heart next to it. That turns it into a favorite channel. So now watch this. I'll, I'll do a couple of these favorites here. And now I can just touch the favorites heart at the top and only my favorites channels will be in the guide. That allows you to quickly find shows on the popular channels that you like. So what else can you do with the mobile app? You can get a brief summary of all of the recordings you have set on your DVR. It's in the upper right corner here, so you can just kind of scroll through and see any one of them. If you want to make changes to it or delete them, you can just touch on that show. So let's say if I uh, don't want to record this Alaskan Bush people anymore, I can touch on it. Give me a synopsis of that episode. I can touch edit. And now I have um, the control box where I can delete this episode or delete the entire series rule. I can also, if we look down at the bottom, I have several other options. If I don't know the day, time, and channel of a show, but I'm pretty sure it's on, I could have hit the search at the bottom, and then I can type in the name of something. So if there is a movie on, but I don't know what day, time, or channel it's going to be, I could type in the name of the movie, and it will show it in the guide, and then I can set my recording. Also, there's an app, a feature called What's Hot. That just shows what other people are watching and recording in the area. One main feature is recordings. This shows you in a little bit more expanded view all of the recordings set up for your DVR. You've got all of the shows that have already been recorded and you can break that down by one time or all. And then you have the things that you've programmed for future recording. And that's broken down by all future recordings, one time, which is a single show like the baseball game, or series recordings, which includes like the Beat Bobby Flay that we just created. So this allows you to not only see what is programmed for your DVR, but you can also go into any one of those and make changes either to the rule itself or to delete the recording entirely. One other kind of cool feature is if somebody is at home and is struggling with the remote control a little bit, you can actually touch remote down here and you can actually control the remote control for that DVR from your mobile device. So you can, instead of walking somebody through how to set something up or how to change channels or, or whatever, you can actually do this for them remotely. Last is settings. And we're not going to even bother going into that. It's going to go back to the guide over on the far left. Brings us back into our guide. So again, we set what box we want to control. We either use the channel listings and the day listings up at the top, or we can use search to find a show that we'd like to record. Once we find it, we touch it in the guide and touch record, and that's how we set up our recordings. If you have any questions, please contact our office at 715 695-2691. Thank you for watching.